Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create the image search app with infinite scroll. So for example, when I search for MacBook, I get photos of MacBooks. And when I'm at the bottom, it will fetch more, even more images like this. So now let's jump into the code. All right, so this is a brand new React app you can create yourself with npx create React app. And the first thing I'm going to do is to remove all of this HTML and just leave an empty div like this. We don't need this logo either. All right, and now the first thing is that we will need an input here. And to make it work, we'll need some state. So let's import use state from React. And now let's define state for our input. So it will be, let's say phrase and set phrase equals use state and an empty string as a default. So now input value will be phrase and now on change will be set phrase but first we'll get an event and then we'll pass event target value like this. Now our input should work and it does. Now when phrase changes we want to search for images. So I will use effect for this. Use effect and now use effect here and here is the function that we run and we will watch the phrase variable phrase state right and in here we want to search for images find the links and display those images here so to do this I will use unsplash API so I will do yarn add unsplash js Right now I will import it, create API from unsplash.js. Now I can define my unsplash library like this, create API. And here inside we will need the access key. And I already have an access key. You can get one yourself by creating an account at the unsplash website. Now we can search for images, but let's create a function for this. So let's say I'll put it here, function, get unsplash images like this. And this will return a new promise. Yes. And here we'll use unsplash search and then get photos. Okay, and here the params will be query. And let's say that we will get query from the param here. So it will be query. Then we also need page number. So let's say it will be use page and let's define it here. And the default will be one. And we can shorten this to just something like this. And then per page, let's say it will be five. Okay, then we get a result. So let's say it will be result. And with this result, let's do console log result. Okay, now we just need to use this function in use effect when the phrase changes. So let's do if phrase is not an empty string, then let's get unsplash images with our phrase for page one. And now let's see if we will get anything inside our console log. So I will open console here and let's test. Okay, so we get a success. We get an object with response and then the results. And here we have five images that we want. And inside each we get, let's see, links and URLs. And inside URLs we have different sizes. So I think I will go with regular. Okay, so from here I need to do response results. And here we have our results. Let's test again. T. Yeah, we have five results here. But I don't want to get like all this information. I just need the regular URL. So let's say that here I will do map. And with each result, I want to get result URLs regular. So now when I search for something, I just get the URLs. Okay, but we need to save them somewhere. So let's say that this function will resolve this promise 
with those URLs. So I will do resolve and here those URLs. So now this function returns a promise. So we can do that then. And here we have images. So what do we want to do with our images? We want to save them inside our state. So let's define state for this. Images and set images equals use state. And default will be an empty array. So now with our images, let's do set images. And here we'll put those images. Now let's try to display them here inside our HTML. I will do if images length is bigger than zero, then uh, images map. And let's say that it will be a URL. And inside here, let's just do image source URL just like this. Now let's test this. Yeah, it works, but images are too big. So I'll go to app CSS. Let's open this one. Let's remove everything. And let's just define some styles for our images. So we'll do max width, 100%. Yeah, and now it's much better. Let's go back to MJS. Now the next thing is that I don't want to do a search for at every keystroke, but instead I want to wait until the user stops typing. So I will use debounce function for this. So I will do yarn add low dash and from low dash I will get the functionality. So in low dash we have this function debounce. I will import it from low dash. And in here where we are searching, let's do debounce. And here inside we need to pass our function. So we just put this. And as a second, whoops, it should be debounce. And as a second param, we need to pass wait time. So let's say it will be one second. So 1000 milliseconds. And now, yeah, I forgot about running this function like this. Yeah, now it works. Perfect. Okay, the next thing I need to build is this infinite scroll. So when I'm at the bottom, I want to load more images. So to do this, I will do use effect and here an empty function. And as a second parameter, I will use empty array. So this code will run every time the app components mounts. So I will do document and then I will do add event listener to listen for scrolling. And here I will put an another function. Let's define it here. Function handle scroll. And I will use it here, handle scroll. And in add event listener, it's good to pass passive to true. So we, so the browser doesn't need to wait to render the view. All right. And the return function will be document remove event listener scroll and handle scroll because when the app component dismounts from our view we want to remove this handle scroll event listener okay now let's handle our scrolling events so we get some event information here so we'll put it as an e and inside this event, we get target and scrolling element. And from this scrolling element, we want to get some information such as scroll have, scroll top and client have. Now we, from those three, we can calculate if we are at the bottom of our page. So let's do const is bottom equals. And now this is like total length of our content and this is how much we scrolled from the top and this is half of the view so from here to here so to know if it's the bottom we need to do scroll half minus scroll top is smaller or equal client half now if we are at the bottom so is bottom we want to fetch more images but first, let's also check that we are not already fetching right now the images. So here inside, again, unsplash images, I want to 
tell the state that we are fetching or not fetching the images. So let's say that on the beginning I will put some information to the state that we are about to fetch images. So we are busy. So let's do const fetching and set fetching equals use state and the default value will be false. So here on the in the beginning of our get and splash images, I will do set fetching to true. And after we fetched here where we are resolving the promise, I will do set fetching to false. Now we can even use this fetching inside our HTML. So let's say that here under the input, if we are fetching, then I will put fetching. Okay, let's test fetching. Test. Okay, one small fix is that when we are doing a new search, we want to set images to an empty array first. Like this. Now let's try. Cool, it works. So now back to is bottom, and we want to fetch more images. So let's check also that we are not fetching. And here let's fetch more images. So we have this function, get unsplash images, and we want to use the same query that we already have inside our input. But the problem is that we can't access the state from here because this is closure here and this is like an async event. So to get around this, I will use reference. So at the top, I will also import use ref and I will create reference for phrase and uh, images. So let's do const phrase ref equals use ref and the default will be phrase. So the same as an empty string and let's do the same for images. So const images ref equals use ref and default will be images. All right, so now where we are searching, let's use our phrase ref. And here we need to do current to get the current value. And now the number of the page. It will not be the first page anymore. So to calculate number of the page, I will get images ref and I will get the current value. So it will be an array with all our images. Then I will get length to know how many images that we already have. And I will divide it by five because we get five images per page. And then add one. So if we have already five images, then divided by five, it will be one. And then plus one will be two. So it will be second page. All right, then we get new images. and we want to save those images. So first let's update our images reference. So it will have all images, but we, this one is not updated at the first search. Yeah, here we are just setting set images to our state, but instead we want to put it also inside our reference. So I will do like this. And now let's also do images reference current equals images. Okay, so even at the first search, we put images reference current to those new images. And all right, so here images reference current. And here we want to have all images. So the old ones, so images ref current and the new images, so new images like this and we want to put it also as a state so set images and we can use here images ref current let's refresh here and let's search for macbook okay we have five photos and now we are at the bottom okay i forgot that fetching also needs to be a reference because it's inside this handle scroll all right, so here let's also define const fetching reference equals use ref and fetching. Now let's see where this one is 
where this one is changed. So here we are doing set fetching to false and send fetching to true. Let's also change fetching reference current to true and the same here but to false like this and now let's use fetching reference inside our handle scroll so fetching reference current let's try look fetching okay so small typo this should be divided by five sorry okay and another small bug is that we are not updating this phrase reference when we are updating the phrase so I will put it here that phrase reference current should be equal to phrase now let's try macbook so we are fetching one two three four five photos of macbooks and if I'm at the bottom I get more photos cool now let's put this fetching text at the bottom so maybe we can see it like this so now if I'm at the bottom yeah I see fetching text now a cool thing will be to add a preloader as an extra feature so I will open terminal and yarn add react spinners and now at the top let me import let's say bounce spinner bounce loader from react spinners and at the bottom instead of doing this fetching let's just put bounce loader and speed multiplier of let's say five and the color will be white like this and let's put it inside the div with some styles that text align will be center so so it will be in the middle it should be black okay let's go to the bottom yeah it is there so we are done we have image search with infinite scroll and it's really fast and it's really cool